Well, guys, if you didn't make money this week in baseball following my advice, I don't know what I could possibly do for you. Not only the free picks, which have been on an absolute tear here, but yesterday, a fourth straight 15-dime run line winner in the past four days and number six in a row over the past two weeks. And remember, a 15-dime play is my second biggest play of the entire season. I've only had one single play, period, bigger than that, and it was a winner as well. But most importantly, you got the play yesterday for free. It was part of the charity, or it was the charity play of the week selection, which has now won seven of the past nine weeks. Guys, I looked at other handicappers at the site, and I thought, damn them. I'm going with my best bet because I'm on a roll, and I absolutely love the game. And I delivered Tigers on the run line, 6-1 easy win over the Cleveland Indians. Well, guys, you know the deal. I gave you a play yesterday that was worth $65. You got the play because you're a gambler. I don't think you got it because you wanted to see if I spelled every single word right in my analysis. You got it. You won money with it. Now it's my turn to ask you to make a donation. You know the deal. You get the charity play of the week for free. If it wins... I ask you to make a donation to a group, an organization, a family, a charity of my choice. And today, guys, I chose a family who has a 12-year-old boy by the name of Sean who has uh, really suffered from day one of this life of his. He was born with Angel Man Syndrome. It's a rare genetic disorder, uh, unable to walk, unable to communicate, cannot communicate verbally, okay? Um, Totally reliant on full assistance, day in and day out, from his family and his caregivers, right? Now, some of you may have heard this disease, uh, even recently about this disease, because Colin Farrell, who stars in the Total Recall remake that opened this weekend, his son has this as well. Well, here's the deal. This boy, Sean, and if you go to the link right here underneath my video report, click on it, you'll see the picture of him, his mom, and his dad, and you'll read their whole story. Um, he is one of 24 patients worldwide, one of 24 in the world, that has been selected to participate in a clinical trial that's being held in Tampa, Florida, that hopefully, with positive results, will improve his seizures, which he's suffered from, from infancy, his motor skills, his memory, even his cognition. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is, of course, the family needs help uh, in terms of the expenses, the things outside of the insurance that it will not cover. Uh, for example, these uh, clinical trials, uh, this boy has to go to Tampa in October, December, and February. So the family is looking for some financial assistance in terms of paying for hotel rooms, paying for uh, airline tickets, etc. The incidentals, they're not asking for a lot of money. They just need some help to cover what the uh, insurance naturally will not cover. And I think the boy's mother, Sean's mother, puts it best. And I quoted it here on the site, but let me just say it to you as well. It's never easy asking for help, but this could be a life-changing opportunity. And guys, isn't that the whole point of what I've told you repeatedly about the Charity Play of the Week selection? It's a chance for all of us to turn gambling into something good because there's something greater than what we do. And this is the good, helping others. Um, you know the deal. I gave you a $65 play. You got it for free. You had to win money on it, right? I don't care whether you get $5, $50, $500. The choice is yours. I'm not going to know who you are. It's totally anonymous. And it's also on the good faith system as well. I'm hoping that you go ahead and make a donation. The charity play of the week is one seven of the past nine weeks. If you guys aren't making some type of contribution, seriously, I don't know how you look yourselves in the face today, tomorrow, or the next day. Seriously, I just don't know how. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing the charity play of the week, and I hope it keeps on winning. All the information is right there below us. You go to the link. As I said, it's right there at the bottom of the video, uh, further down from my video page. You can make a uh, donation by credit card. I realize many of you, you play through various offshore sports books. You're not going to have your money in your hands for a few days. It doesn't matter. You don't have to make the donation today, guys. When you can, you make it. That's the deal. Do some good honor-based giveaway, and that's uh, all that I can say about it. Uh, Craig Davis, I talked about him yesterday on the video report, guys. He's on a red-hot roll. Um, yesterday, hit his 50-dime winner number six in a row and 10 out of 12 overall. Washington 
$1.20 dog on the run line over Miami. Today, FYI, Craig going for winning day number 27 out of 37. 30 dime winner number 9 out of 12. And it's another run line winner, just as strong as his winner on the Nationals over the Phillies. 3 nothing over Cole Hamels on Thursday night to salvage the final game of that three-game set. Keep in mind, over the past 36 days, $10 bettors have won $5,180 following Craig's betting advice. Chris Jordan won again yesterday, a 400-star winner on the Cincinnati Reds. Today, looking for winning day number 24 of 35 with his second biggest play of the season. 600-star baseball winner number eight in a row, guys. $1 bettors over the past 34 days have won $4,970 following Chris's advice. They have won $6,228 this season. It's no big surprise. He is the number one baseball handicapper at this site going back to 2009 with $1 bettors winning $15,327. Now, you know, I always tell you who's hot. I have to point out who's not. Scott Delaney, not that he's not hot, but yesterday was seeking his third straight 100 dime winner in baseball over the past three weeks. It was not to be as the Atlanta Braves on the run line certainly didn't come through. They lost the game outright at home. Scott's still the second winning as baseball handicapper at the site with $10 players, winning $3,080 the past three weeks, $9,027 since 2009. Temporary setback, but it happens. There's no guarantees in gambling. Now, listen, guys, I want to give you a special offer here today. Uh, first, an announcement. Uh, I will be continuing to do videos from this brand new lousy Dell laptop that I'm using here today, a little Ultrabook. Whoever tells you that these Ultrabooks have nice video quality, they are lying through their teeth. They ain't no MacBooks, I can tell you that. You can see the quality of this video today. Uh, I will continue doing videos here for the next couple of weeks and free picks and various promotions. Nothing will change. I will still uh, doing my analysis here on the video as well. However, um, I'm going to take a break here because of some travel coming up. Uh, in terms of being an everyday handicapper, my clients, your customers that are long-term packages, you've already been notified in your message center. Um, I will be back on uh, August 30th, uh, right in time for that little thing called football when the real football games start. Uh, however, I wanted to make you guys an offer here. Uh, you know, after one of the charity play of the week selections hit, I usually turn to that particular handicapper and give you an opportunity to make a discounted purchase of his package. Well, you have two options today, guys. I'm going to be back August 30th. If you're interested in buying a purchase, a discounted package, and I'll get you the coupons and how much money you can save. Matter of fact, you can save $100 or $250 depending on the purchase that you make of one of my packages. I'm just telling you up front, if uh, you're interested, it's going to really go for football season, not for right now. That's why I'm making you this offer as well. I've never done this before. If you want to save $100 off of any handicapper at this site, their 30-day package, you want to save $100 off, just use SUMMER100 as your coupon code today, SUMMER100, S-U-M-M-E-R, number 100, no space between them. If you'd like to save $250 off of the purchase of any handicapper's 60-day or longer package, 60-day or longer package at this site, just use the coupon code SUMMER250, SUMMER250, S-U-M-M-E-R, 250, no space between those, the word and the number. Again, $100 off of any handicapper's 30 day package, summer 100. $250 off of any handicapper's 60 day, 90 day, 100 day, one year package, anything 60 days or more. $250 off using summer 250 for your code. Again, guys, if you want my plays or if you're in a package with me and you want to extend it, take advantage of it. But again, you're going to get the bad news is you're not going to get my place for the next few weeks. The good news is you know I've won nine of the last ten football seasons, right? Scroll down. You can see the numbers. You can see the profit. You know what I've done. NFL and college football, nine of the past ten years winning seasons. And there's a lot of handicappers here, guys, to look at. Craig Davis has won $10 better, uh, $6,740 in football over the past two years. Chris Jordan's football numbers, tremendous as well. Again, a lot of handicappers, very good in football. 
And uh, those are your promotional codes for today. Let me get to your free picks now. Uh, your free pick. Guys, I went with the Tigers yesterday. It was a run line release, a 15 dime winner. I'm going to come right back with them on the run line today uh, at home. Uh, minus uh, about a dollar five on the run line with Max Scherzer on the hill. Now, I went against him in his last start at Fenway. And he was really hit hard by the Red Sox in that one, giving up five runs in six and a third innings on Monday. But keep in mind, he was 4-0 in his previous five starts with a 2.81 earned run average. The team has won each of his last three starts at Comerica Park this season. Um, you know, Indians, eh, what can you say? Team sucks. I mean, so much for the fast start this season. Uh, they're going with uh, Chris, I think you say his last name, Seven. Uh, as their starter, making his fifth ever Major League start. First start since 2007 in the Major Leagues. He's replacing Derek Lowe. They're calling him up from AAA Columbus, where in 20 starts he had a 3.44 earn run average, an 11-5 and record, including 4-0 with a 2.93 in the month of July. But hey, guys, it was AAA. You know what I mean? It wasn't the Major Leagues. There's a reason he was down in the minors to begin with. Now, the other thing is... Uh, Geez, what can you say here about the Tigers? You know, at home, they've just been killers. Uh, they have now won 17 of their last 22 games at home, averaging a little over five runs per contest. Uh, meanwhile, the Indians have lost nine straight and 15 of 17. They've lost eight in a row, all eight of their games on their current road trip since taking two out of three at home against the Tigers a few weeks ago. Um what can I say? Like the Tigers is your freebie today, and you can see the free pick record uh, right now. Free picks 55 and 35 run, including 19 and 8 the past three weeks. Well, that'll do it, guys, and I will catch you again tomorrow.